let's get something clear, right? Straight up. I think that the message will be transmitted and you will appreciate the, um, the information, you know, the raw information. Regardless of the fucking, you know, this is not being edited, this is not like, you know, with lights and all that shit. This is just me, my office, uh, you know, just pouring my knowledge into the fucking uh, media and whatnot. So, thank you for watching this, by the way. Remember, Pablo from Style Systems, your personal image and style consultant. And let's get something clear. I saw a video yesterday and it inspired me on, on, for, on making this video. I saw a, a fellow image consultant. Oh man, I almost killed myself. <laughs> I almost killed myself, man. I, 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 when I saw it, I was like, God damn. And I got so depressed, not only because I, see it, I saw that on him, but because I see it on every, almost everyone, like 90% of image consultants are doing the same goddamn shit, which is, being, uh, you know, projecting something that they're not and trying to change people into something that they're not. You know, it's like this whole idea of imagology or image consulting, uh, you know, stylist and all that shit. It is almost as if you're meant to be something that you're not, you know, like being a poser. Like, oh yeah, I'm an image consultant. I am like James Bond. <laughs> Look at me, everyone. I am the shit. Ooh, la. Come on, man. I mean, let's get something clear. I mean, this video is going, uh, hope, hopefully it will clear what this thing is all about. And hopefully it will, it will uh, differentiate me from the rest of the bunch of videos out there. Because there's a lot of bullshit consultants out there. So when I see it, I see, you know, someone very ugly on the outside and the inside trying to be something that they're not, you know, just because they put themselves on a suit, they believe that they can call themselves now an image consultant. And they're trying to tell you like, oh yeah, you know, because image is very important. Oh my God, you should wear an Armani suit. Ooh, ooh la la. Oh man, it, it, it gets into my fucking skin, under my fucking skin, you know, because this is not about that. This has nothing to do with with being beautiful, even, you know? I don't give a fuck if you're ugly. <laughs> Shit. Not everyone is supposed to be beautiful. Otherwise, we would not have uh, the comparison of something beautiful, if that makes sense, you know? It, it, it would not make sense. How the fuck can you know when something is good? Because you have something bad. How the fuck can you know when some something is beautiful? Because you have something ugly. So you can compare the both of them and you can say, oh, this is ugly, this is good. Simple as that, all right? Simple as that. We can discuss all about it, you know, we can make a whole fucking program and a whole fucking product out of it. But in a nutshell, it is, it is that, alright? So I see a lot of guys doing that, you know, they try, they want to appear, you know, you know they want to project something. You want to project something because maybe you have a lot of insecurities. Probably you have a lot of insecurities, you have a lot of self-esteem issues, you have a lot of uh, you know, a lack of confidence. So you think that if you put, uh, you project an image, you will immediately become something different. Like, oh yeah. And it's not like that, man. It, has, it, it is not like that. It is deeper than that. One way that you can actually understand this is get into my program, man. Because I, I wish that I could explain it to you on a simple video. But there is no simple answer, okay, to this, because this is a science. Google this shit and you will understand that this is a science. Imagology, image, all of this shit. So that's why I say get into my, my program, right? Now, what's the, on, on the other hand, I've been seeing a bunch of videos uh, by people, you know, by, by friends, not close friends, but some friends that I actually am going to, you know, erase my life because I've, I've seen some videos that they're posting and sharing and talking about where this guy or this girl talks shit about uh, taking care of, of your image, you know, like, you are judging me, you know, you are, I saw a video of a guy, you know, dressing himself in a, like a bump, 
going into a store and of course he was treated like shit. And then he dresses himself uh, in quotes good and goes back to the same store and he gets treated better. And the whole thing about, the whole message about that video was to make you understand that you don't have to judge others, you know, you have to correctly analyze what the other person is all about. So, you know, uh, I can dress myself in whatever the fuck I, I want, you know, if I want to go outside naked, it is up to me because I am a free man, blah, 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 and all that fucking bullshit. Now, let's get something clear right now. Listen to me carefully. This is not fashion. This is not fucking clothes. This is communication, man. This is communication. This is pure communication. The purest, one of the purest forms of communication. One of the pillars of communication. How communication started, all right? It has nothing to do with trying to be something that you're not. It has nothing to do with being, you know, a poser, you know, being, you know, a fucking... What's the word? I forgot the word in English, you know, like... Uh, you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. So stop trying to undermine the, the importance of image. And remember, I talk about image. I'm, I'm, I, even the word that I choose is image. I don't say fashion. I don't say style. I say image. I always say image because image is way deeper and, and it, it is it has the full picture you know if I talk only about style it is making it very small if I talk just about fashion it would ch it would be just talking about one small part of the whole picture which is image imagology the science that studies image so imagine if this was true, you know, if these videos that I've been seeing and these people that I've been uh, seeing, you know, that the, they talk about, well, you know, I can do whatever the fuck I want, you know. If I want to have a tattoo and then become the president of the United States of America and say, fuck you and all that, and, oh, oh, man, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Man, this is not anarchy, all right? And remember, this is coming from a guy that said fuck you to the, to the system and I had no uh, degree, you know, in school. I, I said fuck it to, to the system. I created my own company and I live out of it, blah, 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 and all that shit, all right? So I am not the, your average guy talking about the system and, you know, your average uh, person, all right? However, you have to understand that there's some rules. And we need rules, and there will always be. There, there are always going to be rules. Whatever you think about it, about them or not, you we will always have rules forever. And now let's go back. I don't want to deviate myself from to another. You know, jump to a different subject. I'm talking about imagology. Let's get something clear about image. Think about words. If I if I don't care about how I project myself, you know, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do, then this statement, by virtue of that being true, it means that I can approach you, I can approach your mom, I can approach your girlfriend, I can approach your daughter and say, fuck you, you stupid cunt. You're a bitch and you're a cunt and suck my dick. And I can say it, right? I can say it because I am free and I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Man, there's something called social calibration. And forget about social collaboration. There's something called being classy. There's something called being knowledgeable, be, uh, being calibrated, being a person that is calibrated, regardless of the social behavior or not. It's something that having control of yourself. Otherwise, you would have Tourette's, you know, like, well, I can control myself. So being calibrated means that, yes, I can say that if I wanted to, because I am a free man, however, I'm not going to say it in front of your daughter, you know, I'm not going to go in front of your daughter and, and say that, I'm not gonna go in front of your mom, in front of your girlfriend and say that to them. That would be stupid, that would be being insane, and I am not insane, and I hope, and I, I, I hope by God, you know, that the people that is following me are not insane, because 
you cannot do that, man. You can, but you will be thrown into jail or you would be insane. And I, please stay away from me. If you are that type of person, then stay away from me because I don't want you in my life. I am not an anarchist and I don't want people that are, are up uh, for anarchy and all that. It disgusts me. I, I applaud the laws. I applaud the self-control. I applaud um, controlling yourself. Being you being the one in control. So yeah, you have a lot of power, but remember like, you know, <laughs> the movie Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, we all have a lot of power. We all have this power of being free and say, we can all say whatever the fuck we want to say. We can all dress in the way that we want to dress. But wouldn't it be great understanding the true power behind all of this and now you being the one in charge instead of not controlling it instead of being like oh i'm just communicating blah 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 how about for a change you understand the communication you understand the psychology or the meaning behind your tonality the meaning behind your movements the words that you choose now let's talk about image the way that you project yourself meaning the clothes that you pick it is a statement it is a, 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 a direct projection of what you think and how you live and it is your presentation card all right go back to the first uh, human beings you know to our ancestors the the Neanderthal men, you know, like they were going around, you know, butt naked. When they started thinking, you know, becoming aware of themselves as a species, you know, they started differentiating, differentiating themselves. You know, they they became they they become something different than just a, an animal. You know, they were conscious about themselves. They weren't just like a monkey, you know, like I'm a monkey and I am not aware that I'm a monkey because I am simply a monkey. That's what I am. A lion is not aware of himself. He's just eats. He doesn't know that he's a lion. He's just a lion, right? That's what makes us different. We are aware of ourselves. We know that we are human beings. So the moment that a human became aware of this shit, he or she or he uh, started expressing himself. One of the first forms of expression was image, was art, was sounds, and was image. And and you know you could say it fashion if you if you if you want to make sense out of this. Why? Because he started wearing tattoos. He wanted to express something about himself, so he started painting himself, or he started wearing the pelts of the animals that he would hunt, because that will communicate that that was communicating something to the rest of. of of the tribe of other tribes even you know not only inside of the tribe but also to other tribes man if i had a the pelt of a lion i would be communicating hey i'm a dangerous i'm a dangerous motherfucker i just killed a lion and i'm wearing the pelt now so be careful with me and back in the day they they did not have had this whole complex system of languages now we have spanish we have uh, english we have you know the vocabulary we have you know, out of a sound, it is almost like a miracle, you know, that me just creating sounds, you actually understand what I'm talking about. But back in the day, they weren't aware of this yet. So one, that's why I'm saying that the pillars of communication and one of the first forms of communication was looking at the other guy, you know, his image and trying to make sense out of it. Like, oh, is he a foe or is he a, a, a you know, an enemy or a friend? What does he want? Is he strong? Is he blah 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 blah? So you you do you see what I'm saying, man? Do do you have now? I hope this you know opens your mind into the beautiful possibilities that you can apply learning the power of image and stop thinking that well I can wear I can go out outside naked and I would still be me, you know. People need to stop judging me because I am more than the clothes that I wear. I am more than the money that I have. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I mean, of course we are more than that. But we are in the matrix, whether you want to admit it or not. We are part of this thing. So 
commun be congruent. This is all about being congruent. This is not about me trying to change you into having a mustache, into you know wearing a suit every day. That's why I'm you know today I didn't want to wear a, a shirt. I'm wearing a simple T-shirt because I don't care, man. Yeah, I don't care. Once you understand the psychology and the meaning behind imagology and image, now you can start saying I don't care. I don't care what, what you think because I am the one in control. Now I know what I'm communicating. Now I understand what I'm communicating. And I know that if I do this, it, it is perceived as a stimuli. I'm stimulating something inside of you, in your, inside of your mind, that it will be interpreted into something that is either going to help me or not. Man, this is a lot of information, man. I'm just realizing that. I'm giving you a lot of information. So let's get something clear, right? image it's it's going to be with us forever even if we you know we destroy our planet and we go live on a different planet mars whatever image is still going to be very important uh think about a post-apocalyptic world image is still going to be important because we identify ourselves with images we express ourselves through images we express ourselves ourselves through the way that we talk through the way that we move and with the way that we clothe ourselves you know the way that we our nonverbal communication and nonverbal communication it's not only body language it's not only microfacial you know facial expressions microfacial expressions it's not only clothes it's a lot, it's a bunch of things that again, I wish that I could explain it very simply in just one simple video, but I can't. It is impossible. That's why I created a program, a monthly program, because uh, you know it, it is a huge subject, a huge subject. But I just wanted to share some enlightenment with you, with you guys to say that stop thinking that this is not important. Stop thinking. Stop. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a little bitch and saying. I don't want to be judged. You're still going to be judged, whether you want it or not. So if you dress yourself badly, you're going to be treated as shit. Simple as that. Because we do not want and we do not have the time into, you know, sitting sitting down with you and saying, okay, explain to me what you're all about. Okay, Lex, let's make an exercise. Why don't you guys, the people that are seeing me right now, why don't you send me your, your whole life story and explain to me what you're all about because I really care about you and I want to know everything about you. So now I, I will stop judging you. I will be like, oh, I get it. Oh my God. Oh yes. I'm so enlightened and you know, I don't judge anymore. Come on, man. Oh, even, I mean, th this is so stupid because even if I give you my whole life story, you will still judge my story. Let's change the word judge, all right? Maybe you don't like the word judging, analyzing, observing. Uh, I don't know the words, you know, <laughs> go into the dictionary, whatever. Even if I give you my whole story, maybe you don't like the way that I talk. Maybe my, you know, my uh, accent is kind of shitty, so you don't like it. Maybe you don't like the way that I present myself. Maybe you don't like my ethnicity, you know, my background and all that. But hey, 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 don't judge me. Let me give you my whole story. And now you're not going to judge me. You're not going to analyze me, right? Do you see the stupidity of this? Because even if I give you my whole story, you will still have to analyze the whole, the, all of the knowledge or uh, all of the information that I just gave you. You're going to be like, okay, he just told me that he's this, 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 this. Now what do I do with that? You're still going to create an image of me inside of you. So it is impossible to escape this axiom, you know, it's impossible not to project an image. So why don't you just be congruent? Be congruent with, with whatever you think you are. You know, make some investment, you know, put, put in some thought into who you truly are. Because remember, I started this um, small video saying that I saw, uh, I, I saw another image consultant and I see it on a lot of image consultants, you know, trying to tell you that this is good you know this this is good and this is bad and it is not like that man i am not in front of you you know i am i don't make these videos to tell you trying to convince you of my own perspective you know like this is good this is bad <laughs> you know if you really pay attention to all of my videos and all of my books and all of my work 
is of making you more aware of this power and do whatever the fuck you want to do with it, okay? It is like I'm teaching you how to use a gun. Whether you use it for some good or some bad, that is entirely up to you. I am not the guy to tell you about morals. You know, I have my own code and it's my own. You know, my friends and me, we have our own codes and we live by them. But I am not here to tell you, this is what you should be doing. Come on. And this is what I see with other English consultants, you know. And that's why there's a lot of confusion. That's why there's a lot of people that, well, I, I don't care about image because I am more than that. And then the image consultants are like, uh, well, you know, you are, you look like shit. You should be wearing this and this and this because, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they give you advice based on what they like. And this is so bad. I, am, I will never give you advice based on what I like or what I want. Because what I like and what I want could be completely different from, for, from what you want or what you like or what you're all about. So you have to understand and actually study, study this whole goddamn science of image so you have a better understanding. This is like saying, you know, English, it is the worst uh, language in the world. It is so ugly and I hate it. Ah, I am not about that, you know. You cannot say that one language is better than the other one. That, that would be being impartial. I speak Italian, I speak German, I speak Spanish, and I speak uh, English, right? I do not prefer one from the other one. I just, I just know that it is a tool and I use it. I use, I use this tool, you know? <laughs> what, what I like, it is for, for me and my, my people. When I am your image consultant, what I'm, when I'm working as an image consultant, as your image consultant, I will not tell you this is what you should be doing because this is what I like no we're going to analyze all of the things that you know all of the scenarios and come up with the best one for you right hope that made sense man hope that made sense because I was really angry yesterday I, I, again I was I almost killed myself you know like oh man I don't want to be an image consultant anymore because there's a lot of bullshit consultants out there and I hate them I hate them all <laughs> That's why I I take pride in being part of IMC Nation because we all we are we are all different. Uh, and uh, again, stop trying to make small designs of image. It is something that you cannot escape. So be congruent. If you if you are a shitty person, then by all means dress yourself in a shitty way and own it. I mean. Own it. Simple as that. You, if somebody judges you, then yeah, fuck you, man. This is who I am. But I've put 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 some thought thought into it. You know, I've invested into myself, so I know that I am a shitty person. So I like dressing like shit, and it is entirely up to me. I don't care if I look good or bad. You know, it is it is what I want to do. So fuck you and get the fuck away from me. If you don't like it, then simply leave. It is better saying that than being like. You don't have to judge me because I am a very important person. Like I see this, these uh, pictures of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, like not a Gucci belt on them. Man, so stupid, man. I don't care if they're wearing Gucci or not, man. The the meaning behind it is that image is going to be important. Image is important. It is part of of our society. It is part of our communication, whether you want it or not. So. Re, uh, watch this video again, really understand what I'm trying to say, and you know what? Send me your questions, because I want to clear this whole subject once and for all. And if you have questions, by all means, I'll be an open book, and I'll be there for you to try to explain this whole goddamn thing, to kill all the myths and all the bullshit people that are, you know, <laughs> destroying this beautiful... Uh, art form and science okay with that I'm gonna leave you become the best version of yourself whatever the, whatever the fuck you are be the best version of it own yourself control yourself you know have some calibration and I hope this made sense to you I <laughs> will see you on the next one